What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or you catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we are looking at a picture my friend D sent me. Uh, if you don't remember this from a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, I'd put this UFO video up. I usually don't do UFO videos because, you know, everything out there on the internet is kind of shady. Like, there's people out there doing already like third phase of moon and stuff and to me they're making us look bad but this, uh, I wanted to put this up again and, and there was a lot of questions from my for my friends so I was able to get a hold of her I asked her the questions and she was able to scan this at a, this is a picture uh, from Miami and she was it was taken on a disposable camera um, it was right off the water at a loggerhead marina in Miami Florida a lot of people wanted to know where it was it was done with the Kodak disposable camera uh, some people wanted to know that and if you look at the anomaly up here they did not see this there was no time lapse there wasn't anything weird that happened um, there wasn't any glass between the, the, the camera and the child, um, so that's not a water droplet on it. Um, a lot of people had thought that this might have been a uh, parasailer, which to me, let's go ahead and make this big here. Let's see if we can't. All right, let's make this big. Um, to me, that does not look like a parasailer. There doesn't seem to be anything connecting this boat, which it was going to be on any, it would be, I guess it would be this boat here, um, because that seems to be the one that's moving. But if this is in a marina, this looks to be over here, uh, more like trees and stuff like that. So I would imagine that they wouldn't be pulling somebody in a parasail right by a uh, marker, <laughs> you know, but... Who knows? And also the parasails down here, you're looking at, uh, it's really colorful. I live by Ocean City, Maryland, right by the beach. Um, Aztec Island. They have a lot of parasailing going on here. It's all bright colors. Nothing that looks shiny, metallic, tic-tac-y. Um, and almost, if you look from this picture, let me see if I can't change the exposure a little bit and maybe give it some more. You can kind of see it here down through here it almost looks like it's dropping straight down in like a bullet into the water and to me let me reset this to me this looks like it's in between this marker and the boat so this is actually I, I thought to me just looking at the perspective it looks like it's a, a decent little bit in front um, now this you can tell this is taken off of a photograph you can see how it, when it was scanned the uh, the stuff that came up so like the little you know artifacts in it, the little white spots from the old photography. But this, to me this one's cool. People thought it might be a drop of water out there in the uh, air. I would imagine it, if it was a drop of water and it was somewhere right around here, um, it would be translucent. It wouldn't look come metal. It looks like almost metal, you know. I, uh, like I said, I hope you're watching this in HD 1080. I'm, uh, it's good. It's is high resolution. I haven't asked her if I could make the picture available to everybody yet, uh, so you can do your own analysis on it. I'll ask her this week, and if so, check back, and I'll uh, put a link on here so you can get it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Again, so this is much better high resolution. You can see it much better when you pour it in. Before, it only looked like it was about 200 by 200. Um, it looks to be a solid object does not look translucent at all. At first I thought it might be translucent in here, but I think that's just a curvature. Um, I think this we're looking at sun. See the sun how okay, let's take a look here. See how the sun's illuminating from this side. So the sun's actually hitting it. So it's being affected by our sun and the light. Whatever. To see how uh, look how the sun's on the shadow the shadows are to the right on your screen. Um, you know, and this side is lit up just like the hair here. Um, and anything else here that's got the shadows on it well the boats you can see there the boats got the the light on it so you don't see any shadows in the water but that that's kind of hard to say anyway sometimes it's hard to see shadows in water especially during the daytime and the, and the sun seems to be on an angle from up here coming and illuminating um, let's make that real big one time what do you guys think it is a big metal tic tac i haven't had anybody convince me on anything yet i think we might have a genuine uso ufo whatever you want to call it um government technology if this was something that fell in and hit the water and splashed you think people would have noticed it they didn't notice at all um, 
So, anyway, much love, guys. I'm heading to the Dave Matthews Band this weekend. Ian and I are going, so I won't be around this weekend. I might make a couple of little videos I do, but I kept this under five minutes. Woohoo! Much love, guys. Take it easy. Hit comment. Let me know what you think down below. If you're new, hit subscribe. I got a whole bunch of good videos. Uh, check out the old videos. Um, check out the new ones coming up. I'll see you guys Monday. I might put up some of the ones on the iPad I like doing over the weekend if I get some time. So, take care. Enjoy.